So I haven't met a CEO yet that says diversity is not important. So if we look back the last decade around the world, there has been progress. Is it enough? Absolutely not. We're headed in the right direction, but what we need now is acceleration more than anything. So diversity itself is very diverse. Gender diversity, geographic diversity, academic diversity. We know that actually more than one kind of diversity makes for even better outcomes. We know that diversity is good for business. We've proven time and time again that diversity prompts innovation. I think the interesting twist is that diversity also enables organization to be more agile and more resilient. And I think at this point, the head knows, the heart knows, but now we need to move things into action. And that's sort of where we are at this point in time. Sometimes it's just that the right amount of investment hasn't been made. The second more critical piece, I think, is the time investment. You know, we as leaders, if you look at your calendar in a week, how much time did I spend coaching somebody? How much time did I spend helping somebody? Achieving diversity is insufficient if there isn't an inclusive environment that helps that person thrive. In most markets around the world, there is such a talent shortage, and there will be a talent crisis if you keep recruiting the same kind of people in the same recruiting pools that look just like you. You have to look broad and deep and make sure that for every role that you are trying to fulfill, you get the best. And the best may not look like the best that was okay five, 10 years ago. It's a fundamental requirement in my mind for organizations to survive and remain competitive in the next decade to come to make this an urgent priority to recruit diverse talent. Unless you do that, you just simply lose out. And by the time tomorrow comes, and if you haven't done it, it's too late. Now is the time to do it.